Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to continue playing Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Right now I'm kind of on the move. Uh, as you can see, I've changed out my silver blade to a katana. I've changed some of my armor. It's not my favorite. It's, I think it was like free DLC armor or whatever that came with the update. I'm coming to grab these things right here. Witcher wanted. Uh, monsters rampaging in these parts. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Got a bit of a new contract there. Wanted to get that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and help out the Baron with his last little bit that he wanted to do was go after the the uh, uh, the crones. So we're going to fast travel to that mission. Right now I think it has us going to Novigrad by default because I haven't changed the our quest objective. So if you give me a second, once I get to the fast travel, I'm going to change that over. Let's look at our quests. Yeah, I'm not ready for Pyres and Nograd, even though that's Triss. I can't wait to miss meet Triss again. I love Triss. She's so cool. Um, that's it. And we have some more Witcher contracts to do. Hmm. There is... That's a good one. I'm afraid that we might be too under leveled to take care of that one. So we'll, we'll, we'll just go ahead and take care of Return to Crookback Bog. And see how it goes from there. Ooh, there's another contract over here. Uh, just bear with me a moment. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Never hurts. It's right here by the signpost. I don't know what we grabbed, but we have a couple other things to do now. Okay. I do love how quick... I've said it before, but I'll just keep saying it because I've played this game several times through. And I love how quick this game is when it comes to loading with fast travel. I mean, that's just amazing right there. Oh, no. Some sort of nasty vendetta. A beauty? What the devil do you mean? A great mare. A horse fiend. Folk done went mad. Lunged at each other. Murdering all neighbors or young'uns. It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give them a taste of the whip to bring him in line, cause... M my lord, tis what they... they said too. About the mare, meaning that it's the forest's dark ghost. Who claimed so? The, the w w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the village in the swamp. S -s Some lass was leading them, asking after her mother. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. Gotta prepare. Prepare now? Uh, will you shine your boots or trim your nails? Ah, do what you will. I shall take my men and go. Meet you at the Crone's village. Oh, he just did a big old spin. I just wanted to grab these first, jeez. Alright, let's go with him. Plowing swamp. Pox-ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns, fuck me. What will these hayseeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Oh, right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. Uh -huh. Alright, we're just gonna follow the Baron here. Um, I'm gonna put some necrophage oil on my blade. Because I think we'll be fighting a bit of drowners as we cross.
So yeah, this is definitely an optional quest, but I think you've done so many of those other missions for the uh, the Baron's kind of like, why not? Bring some closure to that storyline. in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what you find deep in me? That fear talking. Through you. Brody Lewis. Who? Me? Dear? Not on your lord. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace. Show these horrors who's in charge. Not a rock fiend. What a water hag, come on. Bring it. Ow. Water hags. Where's a horror like that come from? A wench that's had too much hoof turned into that. Next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better off drinking it <laughs> down yourself. Tell you later. Why have you come here? I do like the length of this blade. It seems a bit longer than the other ones. Witcher, change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. Your father. He wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you, we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Over here! 
Or fiend. A fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Yeah. Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. So, I've played this before, and I don't think I've ever done this before, so I don't know if it's because the order of things I've done, or uh, something else, but it's quite interesting that she was turned into a hag, because usually she's been human, so I don't know if I just changed up the uh, my order of actions, and that's what's really cool about this game, so this is a different experience for me. With uh, Anna being turned into a water hag. Damn. Ow. So let's see what Johnny says. Because I've usually been good about getting... There's like a, a bad ending to that and also a really good ending. And I've been really good in the past by chance. Oop! Getting the good ending. Johnny. Johnny. Not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here. Fleeing something. Gonna throw more necrophage oil on my blade because it needs it. Alright. Oop. Already lost the trail. Here you go. I'm gonna have to fight a bear.
Oh, he's right there. Johnny, wake up. What? Who? Oh, Witcher! You frightened me. What were those vile hags? Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told him off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. We would have been the doldrums out here without him. She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran. But they were angry she'd let the children escape. Ah, it's because I, I released that dark spirit. Gotcha. So you saw what happened to Gran. By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why'd the Weavess need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Brewest piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the Wispeth says, Run, boy, run before your legs rot off. They all laughed, and I legged it. There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny, and good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Okay, so... If you destroy the heart in that tree, or don't even... You know, you do that, trick it, whatever you need to do, so the children are sacrificed to the crones, this won't happen to Anna. Interesting. Man, I love this game. So many different experiences, depending on what you decide and choose. There's only a handful of games that are like that. Mass Effect 2 is maybe the closest thing. But... Not to all these little changes. I guess Detroit become human, but Did at the same time, not really. Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, with no time to lose, come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. Yeah, we were down there earlier. So I know where to find it. It's right there. Got it. By the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. 
but there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Yeah, how do you know all this? Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg. This cannot be the one. I'll look at the others. I believe it's the, uh... The Bloom. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. Hmm. You believe this to be the doll? I'm sure it is. Taking it. Let's hope I'm right. Quick, outside! Mum! <laughs> Yay! You're back! All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy. I'm dying. She's not well. Raving. Doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. Well, what's she talking about, Witcher? Nothing we can do to help her. But we... No! That's impossible! Dear daughter... Philip, it's... good... to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother... Tammy... Do you remember... that day... On the inner. Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please. Remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. This was your doing. I know. Which makes it no easier to bear. The pain will pass in time. I'd like to believe that. Another I day gone to shit. You may have a moment with her. And then we must bury her. Return. Very well. So yeah, there are better endings. I didn't get the best. But at the same time, I feel like I got a better ending than I could have at that moment. So, you know, grab the right doll. She wasn't completely a monster, didn't have to kill her or something weird like that. But yeah, so 
There we go. We're done with the Baron. Hooray! Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.